Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my fam guys. So I took you to a little gem, five minutes behind my house, literally walking distance. So Grand Rising, it's the 888 portal guys. So let's tap in and let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you into my beautiful space and I ask for a clear, precise channel message for those who are watching me right now. I have no idea if you can see me because the sun is shining so bright behind me, but let's tap in, okay guys? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon as you are coming in. It shows love to the channel and it helps the algorithm, okay guys? and it's free <laughs> so let's tap in ancestors overall energy major arcana what is going on what are we tapping into i've already fed my ancestors i forgot my lighter though so <laughs> i'm not gonna be lighting any palisanto or sage but i did put down my tobacco so let's start this reading off come on guys no major arcana wants to come out ancestors there it is and it's the justice Okay, so balancing of the scales. Gosh, I really don't know if you could see this card. <laughs> but you can hear me, and that's what matters, okay? So justice, and then the temperance angel. So justice is coming for the temperance angel, okay? For you, my beautiful earth angels. Now, there could be a reconciliation. It's like you are balancing the pros and the cons, figuring out what is best for you in your situation in the moment. And it's, it's bringing a lot of justice. A lot of equilibrium so let's get these manifestation cards first because you have the power in your own hands my beautiful collective it's like you're the ball is in your court okay ancestors and we have lioness you've earned your stripes didn't I just say this you've earned your position you've earned your stripes so whatever choice you choose to make, it's going to bring you stability. But you're going to think logically. You're going to weigh out the pros and cons. And you're going to allow things to come in and flow. If it doesn't flow, it must go. It is what it is, guys. Red. You're forgiving. Okay? So somebody may be seeing red because you're choosing to forgive somebody. But that's not anybody's business, really. See? Bitch fire at the heart of the deck. It says stand up for yourself because you're choosing to stand up for yourself, choosing to stand up for what you love, who you love. Take it as it resonates. It says be honest with yourself. Somebody is about to be honest with themselves, whether this is you or an external energy. It says nostalgic, focus on the here and now. Somebody wants to take you out. They want to focus on the here and now. Never mind what happened in the past and they don't want to think too far in the future. They just want forgiveness and they want you to know that you earned your stripes. You earn your position wherever you are. They want to say, th and there's that bitch fire comes out at the heart of the deck again. Somebody really wants to stand up for you. But in order to do that, they're going to have to stand up for themselves. The same thing as you. If you want to stand up for somebody, you're going to have to stand up for yourself first. Okay. So let's get to tarot cards going with the light seers tarot. Ancestors. Wow. Nine of swords. Somebody is in their head. They have a lot of sleepless nights because they want to come in with this apology, this forgiveness. It's like somebody really wants to stand up for themselves because they know that you're going to forgive them if they do. But they don't know how to do it. Or you don't know how to do it. King of Wands, Leo Aries, Sag. This person is in their head because they may have fumbled their crown, some kind of position. They may have been a follower instead of a leader. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Now, in the right away tarot, the King of Swords and Queen of Swords is a divorced couple, but they're both logical, so logical that they'd rather be apart because it doesn't make sense to be together, which is okay, but it's this King of Wands doesn't want to be apart anymore. It's like your back is towards this person and they're up in their head, having sleepless nights, reminiscing, feeling so nostalgic that and 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 pissed off they're seeing red that they never stood up for you or themselves ace of wands now they have no passion no drive it's in reverse so it's like it's like whatever whatever they were doing you brought them passion now because your back is to this person you're not paying attention to them they're feeling something like they're feeling their presence being missed 
it's the page of swords in the upright so somebody has been really paying attention to you they know that you only want the truth and as soon as they lie then they're cut off but somebody also believes that or thinks that if they come in they um, settle something with you this could be a friend a family member an acquaintance or an ex or a new partner take it as it resonates but if somebody somebody thinks if they come in that if they do something wrong or they say something wrong that you're gonna cut them off at a drop of a dime and that's not how it works guys okay you have morals you have integrity and you have dignity you have rules and ethics but it's not about just what you say or what you do it's about the whole bigger picture right king of cups somebody is a very emotionally unstable could be an external energy cancer scorpio pisces who has been trying to get into somebody's head to tell them that if they come back in that you're just gonna leave them back on their ass or you're gonna do them like they did you either way this is wrong guys this is why this portal this 888 portal is asking you to weigh out things to look at the bigger picture never mind what everybody else is saying because i promise you these other people really don't want the best for you they're emotionally unstable so they're never gonna really look out for you heart of the deck it's the king of pentacles now you have all four kings here oh no you have all three kings the only king that's missing is the king of cups no the king of no you have all four kings yeah you have all four kings so you have an emperor here but they're emotionally unstable they may have a lot of money or they may have a good job or work hard but somebody feels like as if they're gonna fucking die old or something or somebody wants you to feel like you're gonna die old with nobody but that's not the truth the truth is is you may have broken up with somebody because they were cool to you they lied to you when you knew that they knew the truth they could have just spoke the truth look the king of pentacles comes out with the queen of pentacles didn't i just say that there is a husband and a wife here but there is a divorced couple here as well so it's like you have your back towards somebody and because of somebody's emotional immaturity or their friend family member somebody who's talking in their fucking ear and won't shut up they're not coming towards you with this offer but they see you as very very valuable they see you as the temperance angel there is a reconciliation chariot didn't i say that somebody's coming in fast 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 chariot it's the page of swords at the heart of the deck i'm telling you they've been studying they've been learning and and it's like they're going back and see why a situation didn't work out in the first place they may have been blaming you but now is the coming to the realization that it may not have been them it may have been that it may have been it may not have been you it may have been them or it may have been you and it may not have been them so take it as it resonates guys you know your story but somebody is weighing it out and realizing the voyage it says you already have all the answers so somebody already has all the answers they already know but it's like can they break that ego and come towards you and tell you the truth somebody is coming towards you it's a ten of pentacles wow this is a legacy guys so if you pass this up it's like shit but that's what the external wants you to pass this love up this opportunity up this blessing up that's why i came out here on the 888 portal usually i haven't came out here in a couple years because the the energy or, or should i say the memories is a little bit you know it's it's not the, the greatest memories but we make our life what it is so i'm choosing to change the energy and do something for myself three of pentacles now you're doing it together instead of doing it with yourself like i just said three of pentacles somebody wants to do it with you wants to do life with you wants to be with you morning noon and night and they're in their head because they they're having a hard time to come in and collaborate with you they've been listening to you somebody is strategically trying to bring you in four of pentacles knight of coins but there's lack of direction because of somebody's inability to unclutter their life somebody rejected you but now wants to work with you wants to do it all with you judgment i'm telling you somebody needs to step up the judgment that's what it says step up so somebody needs to step up because they're really having a lot of self-doubt and they're unwilling to learn the karmic lesson it's because of this negative self-talk that somebody can't come towards you this is why they judged you it really had nothing to do with you so if you're feeling like you know you weren't good enough or something you really were you really were everything but sometimes you know people got things going on within themselves that they can't address fully then they get really frustrated and then they miss out on a good opportunity because they couldn't speak
speak their mind. The hermit in reverse. Somebody is really fucking depressed. Very self-absorbent, okay? So they're doing a lot of things to, to drown out the noise that's in their heart or in their mind. Take it as it resonates. Somebody is doing a lot of distracting. They're very lonely and they're feeling paranoid in this isolation. It's like somebody is very antisocial, but they want to be forceful with you. And that's where they're scared. They're scared that if they're too forceful with you, you're going to block them, walk away from them or something. So they're trying to balance something out so they can come towards you. Somebody feels completely powerless and restricted from you because of this judgment, because of the unwillingness to learn a karmic lesson. No matter how much somebody wants to work with you, they're really going to have to stand up for themselves and you in order for them to come together because the Five of Cups is it's in reverse. Somebody really no longer wants to dwell on the shoulda, coulda, what is the maybes, the what ifs, the, the past spilt milk, you know, the traumas, the tribulations. Wow. I don't know if this is poisonous, but it sure as hell looks like it. Now, there, this just popped out on the tree right onto my cards, okay? So somebody... It's a poisonous one. I'm pretty sure that's poisonous. I don't know. Let me know if you know if this is poisonous or not. Can you can you see it? Oh, it's so hard with the with the sun. But do you see it? Okay, so I'm gonna put it back in nature. <laughs> but somebody may be trying to come towards you, and and the external energy wants you to feel like it's poison. But it's not poison. It's gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly or moth. But somebody's just at that. It's like they're not, they haven't really fully grown up yet is what it comes down to. But they are definitely overcoming the despair. They're forgiving themselves for what they did not know before. It's like somebody thinks that you look at them like they're poison. No, you don't. You never did. You adored somebody, but it's just they make their own choices and you let them go. It's what it is. You were able to heal when you let somebody go. Acceptance is the major it's the number one thing in order to move on so you accept it and you were ready to move on you let go and somebody needs to learn to do the same it's the ten of coins in reverse you had to let go of your friends your family these people from your past who really didn't want anything good for you now in order for you to get the ten of pentacles in the upright you're gonna have to be on that chariot and move forward you got the information necessary in order for you to weigh out the pros and cons you know that people are threading a thin line with you when it comes to the truth, but you know the truth. You are walking truth. And if people don't want to, you know, do right by you, then they don't have to. They don't. But you see that your family, your group, corporation from the past, maybe even a whole motherfucking community or this person was very materialistic. They had this love for money, inevitably marrying for money or getting in situations for money selling you out for money it is what it is guys and somebody is feeling like a loss there's it's like a lot of family feuds a lot of people fighting over inheritance lack of contracts a lot of bankruptcies people in you know they put all their energy into something because it looks good on the outside but on the inside it's a big old mess it's like a fucking monet you know and from afar it looks great but you get up close and it's a big old fucking mess and somebody is really overcoming the despair with this family you are my beautiful collective seven of cups and it's in reverse there is no more illusions somebody is very much focused on this new road and this new road includes you or you are including another person you're seeing you're you're seeing things clearly and you know what choices you have to make when it comes to this decision taking action and all your clairs are lit okay so you have clarity, lots and lots of clarity, eight of cups, in order to move away. You have clarity on what you need to move away from and who you need to move away from. Release what does not serve you, emotional unfulfillment. Time to move on and let go. I'm telling you, somebody cannot let you go. And the fact that you are walking away from them, they feel completely powerless. P powerless, okay? And um, lonely because you don't want to work with them hierophon in reverse yeah just what i said you don't want to work with them you may have broken up with somebody broken up a relationship a partnership even a marriage because you weren't conforming to their outdated belief systems somebody's unconventional life choices put them in some kind of alternative lifestyle and they wanted you to be living that alter alternative lifestyle with them you decided to break free you challenged the status quo and you're choosing to think of yourself and the collective bigger whole you're not selfish when you're thinking about yourself but these family and corporation are 
selfish when they're thinking about themselves. That's why they can't come towards you because the autumn equinox is here and it's in reverse. So it's you're preparing for change. And there's a lot of people who are trying to block your obstacle. I'm telling you, they lack direction and they're trying to be forceful because they're powerless. I already said this. And within the next few months, there is a major change. Okay, and we are going into that autumn equinox. So when is autumn? Autumn comes in September, right? So it's coming soon, it's next month. So express your gratitude for nature, for love. Okay, harvest is my favorite. Um, um, autumn is my favorite time of um, year because it's not too cold, it's not too hot, and you know, Halloween, 10 of cups. It's in reverse, man. I'm telling you, somebody is so disconnected. You could be disconnected from your family or from a person that feels like your family. There's a lot of brokenness and imbalance when it comes to a relationship, a sense of security. Somebody feels like everything has been taken from them. Ace of Swords because of a lie, because of the lack of idea, because of their lack of communication. Wow. Somebody's clouded judgments have blocked communication and now somebody's hostile in the background with this misinformation. Somebody got a lot of misinformation about you. Now feels bad because they celebrated Three of Cups with external energies. Now that's why the Five of Cups is in reverse. They no longer want to dwell on the third parties. They want to see the Two Cups. The Two Cups that are in within ourselves, guys. It's not about another person. We have to love ourselves before we can truly love another. It is what it is. The Three of Cups is under, under the influence third parties love triangle ritual time alone heavy party someone else's influence i'm telling you there was a lot of influence and it was all because you were a high priestess because you spoke the truth because you had this subconscious understanding your subconscious mind is lit and you have this inner knowing so you dive deep but somebody wanted you to be in an illusion about how they feel about you or about how somebody feels about you or about how you feel about somebody else but you're not an illusion, you know exactly how you feel, but there's a third party, a king of cups, or a queen of cups, take it as it resonates. And this is why you had to divorce from this person. It could be a king of wands who's in their head, because they see you have earned your stripes. Now we are in that Leo season, guys. It says gratitude. So be grateful. I am aware of the light in my life and I direct my thoughts to the beauty in and around me. I give thanks to God for every little thing that brings me joy. Thus I enlighten my thoughts, riches surround me, and I appreciate all that life brings. So you're being very, very patient in life right now. Okay, so let's get the oracle messages and inner strength. You're tapping to your inner strength. Now those cards have continuously kept coming out. But that's the justice, okay? Somebody is feeling how it feels like you may have wanted to work with somebody but they ditched you for money for something else something that looks shiny and now they're really really regretting not standing up for you themselves and you ancestors yeah because you have this home and foundation and you're about to meet somebody new you're about to go on a date so express yourself be honest be open understand that there's eight billion people in this world so if you have gotten fucked over or left at the altar per se don't worry about it guys somebody does adore you and wants to marry you see but there's silence it says no contact somebody's not contacting you because they're scared of what you're gonna say if you're gonna bite off their fucking head but there is definitely unrequited feel um unresolved feelings unresolved situation unfinished business somebody is silent why they're silent because they're just looking at you. They're just watching you, missing you, nostalgic. They want to make new memories with you, but they're scared. They're unhinged. They don't know how to break the ice to talk to you. It could have been years, days, months. I don't know since the last time you talked to somebody. But they're coming in with this reconciliation. They see you as the earth angel. They may not be coming in with very much, at least like I said, right, they're just that caterpillar still. So they're just trying to go into the metamorphosis phase. Mirror. Wow. Mirroring each other. Self-reflection, introspection, and inner wounds. Somebody's mirroring you. And really, like in this mirror, I mean, in this picture, look, she's take, she took herself to the beach like to, to zen out. So maybe you need to take yourself to some water. The water is purifying. It helps you. Now, you could have memories with somebody at the water. Wow. 
somebody sees you as peace, guys, but they're fucking heartbroken because they always seen you as peace and as bliss. Every everything you've done together was always with so much happiness. And now somebody is has a lot of anxiety because they're feeling like they're running out of time. They're needing time cycles. <sighs> time to heal, progression key on a ring many options unconventional one night stand stringing people along this is why you broke up with somebody because it's about honesty you just wanted the truth and somebody couldn't give you the truth and you're a wise owl you already knew about this third party i just seen the third party card and you have love you only want love you want unconditional love self self love wholeness affection attention attraction selflessness and somebody didn't have any of these qualities or characteristics. Maybe they did, but they weren't showing it to you. Now they feel kind of bad that they didn't. Because they're missing you. They are fucking missing you. <sighs> Glasses, watching, looking, perspective, stalking, regret, mistake. Somebody is definitely stalking you. They're missing you. They're nostalgic. They feel like they're running out of time now. Somebody's about to introduce themselves to you. And then you're going to be free. Somebody is shocked that you have overcame you have healed you're surrendered and somebody is about to propose to you there is a major commitment coming in guys so somebody from your past could be upset or it's this past person coming in either way somebody is in a lot of regret because you chose to ground yourself you have stability and security but there's a girl with the snake somebody got charmed used enabled boundaries you got to be careful okay use your discernment you will know who's peace and who's not somebody is about to call you Somebody's about to, you're about to hear from somebody because they do. They see you as peace and they love you. So there's a lot of strong affection here. But there's text messages that haven't been sent that they wrote and they haven't been sent because somebody's insecurity, somebody's self-esteem. But there is a, a relationship that is connecting in the ethers. But it's not time yet. Somebody's still got boundaries, they're hurt, they're avoiding conversations, they're not dealing because they're still upset. So whether this is the person or they think that you're this way, either way, they still see you as paradise. You still see this person as fucking paradise. Get over it. Happiness and joy, playfulness. Um, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. Wow. Reconciliation, guys. I don't fucking make it up. I'm just a reader, okay? And I don't even know if you can see me. I guess we're going to find out when I do the live premiere because I am pre-recording this. Shit. You cut somebody off, okay? Maybe somebody cut you off. Take it as it resonates. But you're receiving what you need because it's all about progression. You are, gonna, you are about to arrive to your destination. But you're at a crossroads right now. Where do you want to go? So, weigh out the pros and cons, okay? Because somebody doesn't want to be seductive anymore and knows that you're not in a party lifestyle. Somebody wants to have fun with you, but they're no longer attracted to this one night stand, hook up third party temptations, or at least you aren't. So you're not dealing with polyamorous, polygamous lifestyles or somebody who just can't fucking be honest. You want to be a player? Fine, be a player. But a player tells you what the fuck is going on. They don't do shit behind your back. See, somebody's a chaser. Somebody's trying to chase you. Their fear of abandonment, they're chasing codependency, it could be this other woman. Somebody who they chose over you or somebody you chose over somebody else. Take it as it resonates, guys. I do not judge. We are all here to grow, heal, and evolve. So, somebody was definitely in competition with you and now they're chasing this person to keep them to stay. But that's not working because the sword and the stone is... The sword and the road is there. Clarity, truth, revolution, honor, protection, and determination. Somebody is fucking determined to honor you. Because in honoring you, they honor themselves. Yep. And there was a third party. Some kind of friend who was influenced by you. There is a copycat. A Jezebel. Somebody who tried to dress like you. Talk like you. Eat like you. Fucking walk like you. Whatever the fuck. They just try to be you. And they can't be you because you can't copy energy. This person is old school. Meaning that they have outdated thinking. They're conditioned by the external. So they really don't have their own personality. If they hang out with you long enough, they're going to turn into you. It is what it is, guys. And somebody's replaying events. And this is why they thought that you weren't enough. Because somebody said that you were doing this to somebody else. When it's the other way around. Yo, I'm telling you, somebody doesn't feel good enough. Because you're a single parent. 
and there's a sudden change. Somebody fucked you over, fucked your children over, and it was all because you're the phoenix rising. You chose to do this by yourself. So somebody wanted you to be looked at as a party animal like them so that this way you wouldn't start dating new people. But you used your intuition. You got out of it. You knew that somebody was a player stuck in some kind of party lifestyle. So they're clearly not around you because they're doing something else with somebody else and you understood that so you're eliminating and if somebody wants to talk to you they're gonna have to take off that fucking mask because somebody is hiding their true feelings pretending and gaslighting see they're really fucking hurt they want to come in with an apology they're in agonizing fucking pain but they can't tell you they can't tell you because they're embarrassed they're embarrassed because they chose a doppelganger over you and this is probably somebody who would say that, oh, even if you had a twin, I'd still choose your twin. Oh, what a liar. What a liar. And you're calling them out. You're telling them to take their fucking mask off because you have new openings. It's the AAA portal, guys, so be ready. New openings. When one door closes, I am confident another will open. I will... It will be for my betterment. I accept that life brings challenges and knowledge and acknowledge the opportunity that learning and learning they present to me serenity comes from within so you're finding serenity from within and these people really can't stop you and there's a lot of people who really really want to do life with you okay so goodness it's because you're 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 good it comes from within people cannot take your essence the way you are the way you love people you know your your love language people can't take that they can try to pretend that they're they're these things but they can't take who you are they can't take you and that's what somebody is upset about the fact that everybody wants you but nobody can have you because nobody can have you because you are a twin flame it is what it is i define my character and overcome difficulties by remaining positive i calm my heart and illuminate my intelligence to transform shadow into light i constant constant <laughs> consciously manifest goodness in and around me i improve my qualities of the benefits of all see because you choose to improve your qualities you're improving the qualities of all everybody around you so when you stand up for yourself you are standing up for those who cannot stand up for themselves too okay so courage you're gonna have to have the courage because ancestors are telling you that you are good enough okay so courage. I am stronger than the fear and bigger than my doubt. I am light and I remain light. I trust in God and stand tall before the tests of life. I grow and become wiser through every challenge. I am a being of new life. That's it. You're putting the past behind you. You're weighing out the pros and cons. You understand that not everybody is the same. And people can change. Mirror. Treat your body like a palace it is. See? So you're only allowing people to come in who treat their body like a palace like yourself. <coughs> you're not gonna deal with somebody who has talking to this person and this person it's like your exes were so easy to block you but they couldn't even block their exes during a relationship with you this is how you know that people are just fucking fake okay so have the courage to eliminate friends family acquaintances people from the past so when one door closes another one will open okay it's all about positive action be that reinforcement okay in your life i focus on the beauty in me and i find silence i live in honor and pre and the pre in the present by doing what i can right now what i cannot change i let go of and entrust in god so you're letting go and entrusting god in what you cannot control which is everything other than yourself <laughs> so even if somebody adores you and loves you they're gonna have to look in the mirror and see exactly why you aren't talking because it probably has nothing to do with you because somebody sees you as a lion or a lioness they know that you have earned your stripes to the position that you are in somebody is very proud of you whether they tell you or not they are very proud of you because you have done something that they wanted to do maybe it's get sober maybe it's start a business maybe it's just you know be a single mother not have to or father and not have to ask anybody for anything stuff like this okay somebody is very intrigued by you and who you are so overall energy st francis oracle deck it's number 14 and 14 reduced down to a five guys okay so there is change underneath this aaa portal so weigh out the pros and cons and give people a chance even if 
they're still in that caterpillar phase and they, they look a little poisonous, you know? Rough around the edges, should I say. You never know what kind of transformation that person is going to have. They could have this miraculous, beautiful transformation. So put your time into people, but don't waste your fucking time. And don't be a habitual time waster and allow these people who come in and out and in and out. No, we're not doing that. But we are giving people opportunity, ample opportunity to make the changes for themselves so they can be a part of our lives. So 14, the sunken cradle going with the flow okay going with the flow may sound idyllic but actually it is what is required of you right now you do not need to take immediate action or do anything in particular just allow things to flow along as they are you may have recently gone through emotional turmoil and it is likely that you have experienced many emotions such as sadness anger frustration now you are slowly coming out on the other side and beginning to feel more like yourself again just allow yourself to be who you need to be at this time this is a card of slow pace, so accept this. There is no action to take. Just be kind to yourself and allow the healing process to work. Your instincts will let you know when you have to act. So for now, just relax and listen to your inner guidance for further instructions. Okay, guys, there's not much you need to do. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, your intuition, your gut will tell you when to leave things and when to go towards something, okay? So 3111 is on my clock. Ancestors, let's get a message from the healing plant world, please, because we all need healing, guys. Nobody's exempt from this healing. We have to go inwards. We have to see the darkness in order to see the light, okay? So we have. it's all about acceptance. Acceptance is key to healing. And you got the yarrow. Now the yarrow is everywhere, okay? The yarrow is like a, a natural band-aid, okay? These leaves here on the yarrow are a natural band-aid. It's like, um, what is it called? Like um, an antibiotic? So let's see, yarrow. So somebody may see you as an antibiotic, you know? But they can't just keep putting band-aids band-aids you know coming to you to fix things if they don't fix their environment then they're never really gonna you know what I mean it's you can heal somebody you can sit with somebody you can you help somebody but if they don't change the environment that they were sick in then nothing will ever really change right it'll just be a constant cycle of insanity you know doing the same thing expecting different results now yarrow yarrow awakens our connection to spirit like its namesake Archelilis it brings awareness to the vulnerable parts of ourselves. Yarrow helps us to cut the patterns that no longer serve us. Its message is to see beyond the suffering to the grace of our situation. Now, somebody sees you as so fucking graceful because no matter the suffering you've went through, you still were able to come out on top without having to really hurt anybody in the process. Your family has really done a number to you and the people that you thought you were gonna build a family with. but. Your life is not over it's time to cut those patterns to tap into the vulnerable parts of you and reawaken this connection with spirit you can do it my beautiful collective i want one more from this um plant spirit because we're out here and i love you guys we all need extra healing so we got orange hawkeye okay so orange hawkeye Orange Hawkeye awakens the artist within. It supports individual self-expression without losing her connection to the greater whole. This heart-centered plant helps us to fully express ourselves without attachment. Okay, so somebody really wants to express themselves. Now you may be about to express yourself, but you cannot have any attachments to the outcome. Some people will love you for you. Some people will not okay you your personality may attract people but it also may repel people because a lot of people will do anything and everything to keep themselves in in a box you know of what society wants you know people who believe the the news or you know i'm telling you people will do anything and i mean anything to make sure that their illusion doesn't break so they will make you look bad and they will act like maybe they don't love you but they do i promise you they fucking do now let's get this last tarot deck i just want to from from this deck i just want to see what the last closing message is for you beautiful collective okay ancestors what's the last closing message so it's a devil in reverse so you let go of a lot of addictions codependencies and toxicities you are not willing to allow these things back in 
but you are, are willing to wait. Page of Wands. You're willing to wait, but you're not willing to wait for a tyrant. Okay, so you're going to know the difference. Somebody is pissed the fuck off at you because you have no addictions. And they can't keep nothing, they can't stick nothing to you. So it could be somebody who's trying to do magic manipulation in the background, six of coins. So that somebody doesn't come in to equally give to you. But you already seen this, you already read it to filth. And somebody is realizing that the people around them are doing a lot of magic and manipulation. So that they stay stuck and stagnant and very distracted. Five of pentacles. But somebody is no longer in poverty. They're no longer listening to these tyrant people. Somebody feels like if they come towards you with a message that you're going to turn it down. And uh, two of wands. There is a choice here, guys. The world. There's a choice and you're choosing to end a cycle. Whether that's with some kind of competitor in the background or somebody from your past. You are ending a situation because you know better, Queen of Pentacles. The death. Nothing is ending for you, Queen of Pentacles, so don't worry about it if you feel that, you know, you're a little bit stuck in a rut or you don't have may very many people around you. Eight of Cups. It's only because you're having to move away from a lot of people. Ancestors are guiding you to move away from people because they're not good for you. They don't mean you any good whatsoever. So in order to move into this new portal, you have to move away from the past. Six of Cups. Hermit. Somebody is coming in from your past. Wanting to dine with you and swim with you and live life with you, Hermit. But you're going to have to go inwards to find this peaceful self-resolution within yourself. Two of Swords. Because somebody wants you to be naive about the Two of Cups. About why you broke up with somebody. Or some kind of karmic relationship. Three of Wands. Whatever you want. Look, the Ten of Pentacles. What you got coming in, that Three of Wands, is the Ten of Pentacles, I told you. And that's what your family, a corporation, a group from your past is trying to block. But as that Queen of Pentacles, the wifey, the matriarch, nothing is ending for you. Somebody really did not, not want you to transform into the, the beautiful being that you are. But you still managed to transform. And um, you really are wishing people the best. But you're not responsible for anybody's healing. Because just your healing alone was just... A, it, it was hard it was rough so i love you guys i hope that this helped you on this day i hope you enjoyed my background i'm sorry you can't really see me i don't even know if you could see me but i love you guys stay blessed don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you later okay guys let me see if i can show you more of what i got going on here see it so pretty it's so pretty. Anyways, I love you guys. Mwah.